ever imagine going to the movies and seeing Wade and Ember from Elemental sitting right next to you in human form? Come on, tell me if that wouldn't be amazing. But for you to know who they would be, you'd have to see what they'd look like as humans. Real life Wade would be this guy. This guy is an identical match for Wade. And how about Ember? This is definitely a version of Ember that's true to the character. Seriously, they'd make such a cool real life couple, just as they did in the movie. If I saw them, I'd definitely ask for a selfie. <laughs> Apart from this fantastic couple, we've also found several other characters with amazing human versions. Perry the Platypus have you ever wondered what the human version of the pet who's also the world's best secret agent would look like? Well, we did, and we found this human version of Perry the Platypus from Phineas and Ferb simply awesome. With a green suit matching Perry's fur color and that unmistakable hat, we'd have the perfect human Perry. The only question is whether as a human he could stop Dr. Hines' doofenshmirtz and his nonsensical and completely crazy plans. <laughs> Bluey and Family Now, let's talk about this show that's been a sensation in the world of animation in recent times. Bluey! The show's opening features the Healer family all gathered and dancing to a fun song, introducing each family member one by one. And a very skilled fan imagined what a human version of this Australian family would look like. And I have to say, it looks awesome! In this image, we see a version of Bandit with blue clothing and hair that goes perfectly with the only male member of the Healer family. Next to him, there's Bluey, who, just like in the show, closely resembles her father. Following that, there's this super cute version of Bingo, which is very similar to her animated counterpart. Finally, there's the human version of Chili, dancing just like in the show's opening. I love this human version, how about you? Comment below, hashtag yes if you like this version of Bluey and her family. I'll comment below too, because I love this version so much. Oh, Kung Fu Panda. The chubbiest and funniest hero of all time also has his own human version. The Dragon Warrior, represented by a typical Chinese animal, naturally had to have a human version, chubby and with Chinese features. And we found this version that matches Poe in every possible way. Just like Poe, he doesn't really look like the ideal person to save the Valley of Peace, which means he's perfect. <laughs> Kung Fu Panda Villains since we're talking about Kung Fu Panda, we have to remember that this film franchise features some of the best villains of all time. In the first film, we have the nearly unbeatable Tai Lung, a former student of Master Shifu who managed to defeat the Furious Five single-handedly. In the second film, the villain is the sinister peacock, Lord Shen, who believed he had wiped out the entire panda village. And finally, Master Kai, a former friend of Master Ugwe and Poe's greatest adversary. And look at how awesome the human version of these three wicked villains that human Poe would have to face and defeat turned out. I'd really enjoy a movie with these versions of these characters. Bernie and Cinder the second cutest couple from the Elemental movie also had to be on this list because without them, Ember would never exist. Literally. <laughs> and the fire couple, who still has a lot of sparks flying between them, have their human versions for us to imagine what they would be like if the world of Elemental really existed. And these people could live with us in our daily lives. So, let's see how the fire couple would look in their human versions. Bernie, short and strong, and Cinder, with her prominent cheeks, and also short, just like in the movie. Roadrunner and Wile E. Coyote. If you've ever heard this sound and you weren't stuck in traffic, you definitely know who the poor coyote who always fails in the cartoon episodes is. And you know the super fast bird who always manages to escape the coyote's cunning plans. But have you ever thought about what they would look like as humans instead of animals? Well, we'd like to imagine these things and we found versions of both Roadrunner and Wile E. Coyote as humans. And here's what we found. Roadrunner would actually be a red haired girl with blue streaks in her hair and a blue outfit that matches the color of Roadrunner's feathers. And Wile E. Coyote really has that Wile E. look. <laughs> with a face that always looks like he's scheming a plan that's definitely not going to work and that he needs to fail to learn to stop chasing poor Roadrunner. <laughs> Both of them turned out really cool. Gumball, Darwin, and a nice. If there's a trio of siblings that always makes me laugh when I'm watching cartoons, it's the Watterson siblings. After watching so many episodes of The Amazing World of Gumball, it's impossible not to think what they'd look like in realistic versions. There's even an episode called The Bother, where the entire family ends up with almost real versions, where they all become regular people, except Darwin, who turns into a fish, since he was originally the family pet who ended up being adopted and became a true sibling to Gumball and Anise. Besides that, we also found another really cool version of the sibling trio that turned out great. First, we have versions of Gumball and Darwin that are perfect for their characters. Gumball would be a blue-haired boy with a light complexion that matches his original color in the show, and Darwin would have a lovely tan and orange hair, just like his color when he was a fish. Tell me if these two versions don't immediately remind you of Gumball and Darwin. But in addition to that, we have another version, this time also including a nice. 
with versions similar to what we've already shown for Gumball and Darwin, with their blue and orange hair. But this time, there's also a nice with pink hair and a kind of hairband with two bunny-like ears, just like the one she has in the show. Both versions are simply incredible, guys! Comment down below to let us know which of these versions of Gumball and Darwin you liked more, the first or the second. Nemo and his dad If there's an animated film that's as iconic as Toy Story, it's definitely Finding Nemo, where we meet the father and son clownfish who go on an incredible journey to reunite and be together again. And because millions of people loved the film released in 2003, a fan decided to create a human version of the two father and son, and look at how sensational it turned out. As it should be, both of them have red hair to match their species' orange coloring. And just like in the cartoon, they look very similar in their human versions. I watched the movie, and I really like this version of the two main characters. Oh, and one more cool detail, in the realistic version of the characters, you can see that the artist didn't forget to include Nemo's small fin. Just like in the cartoon, his right fin is smaller than his left, and this same characteristic was repeated in the human version. That attention to detail is really impressive. Well done! Bagheera and Baloo The Jungle Book is one of the timeless classics and definitely one of Disney's most famous films. And even though the main character is a human boy raised by a wolf pack, there are many fans of the animation who actually prefer the other animal characters in the story. Among them are the two friends who are always saving the boy from his bad decisions, the panther Bagheera and the bear Baloo. And since Mowgli's story takes place in India, it's only fair that the human versions of these two characters would be aligned with the physical traits of people who live in that region. For that reason, this version of Baloo with Indian features and Bagheera with Indian traits, along with a small turban, at least that's what I call it, which is also part of Indian culture, turned out absolutely perfect. This artist deserves an Oscar for this awesome adaptation of these two characters. It's that good. Scar, the wicked lion who killed his brother, King Mufasa, and tried to end his nephew Simba's life just to inherit the Pride Land's throne, is one of the most sinister villains of all time. And because of all his evil deeds, it's only fitting that he would also get a stylized human version of his character. In fact, not one, but two versions. First, there's this surreal image that shows him with features more connected to the African characteristics, the setting of the film, and look at how fantastic the traits of this version turned out. In addition to this version, there's another one where he's accompanied by the clumsy trio of hyenas who work as his henchmen in almost all his wickedness. Look at how good the version of Scar and his three evil henchmen turned out. Both versions turned out really well. I must admit the first one is slightly better in my opinion. How about you? Which one did you like more? You've just seen the awesome versions of these cartoon characters as humans. It's definitely fun to let your imagination run wild and think about how movies featuring these characters would be if they were made in human versions. And to keep the fun going, we've picked two videos for you to choose from. I've heard the first one is really cool. 